in this section we'll have a look at the options for conducting analysis of qualitative data. Uh, now I suggest you go back to the lecture about qualitative research and qualitative data analysis. However, by way of brief summary, uh, I've suggested two options for approaching your qualitative data. In the first approach, you stick with the data uh, analysis as being conducted qualitatively, and that is without converting into numerical codes. And in this way, we're just going to look at the words, their meaning, the underlying themes, and construct a conceptual model of those uh, themes. The alternative is to convert the, qu the qualitative data into numerical codes, which can then be analysed using a statistical package. And in that case, we're particularly interested in the frequencies and percentages. However, when you're dealing with questions which allow for multiple responses, then the appropriate approach is to conduct multiple response analysis, which we'll demonstrate in this uh, screencast. So just to expand a little, if you're taking the purely qualitative approach, also known as a thematic analysis approach, uh, immerse yourself in the data, that is, read very carefully over each of the responses uh, and do that on at least a few occasions. Emerging from that reading, you'll probably start to find underlying themes or factors or, or clusters of meaning. And you can then write about those, summarise those uh, in as much detail as possible. And it may be helpful to visualise your understanding of the, um, of the qualitative data in a conceptual diagram that shows the themes and their interrelationships. Whether you do or don't visualise, make sure you provide a thick description, uh, which is a detailed description involving quotes and examples and um, information about the conceptual categories. If you're going to take a quantitative approach, then the initial stages are similar. You're going to immerse yourself in the data, read it through several times. But in this case, you're creating a coding sheet, which is a list of the main themes and a numerical code for each theme. It may be that you want to reconsider that initial list of codes. You may want to group some themes into single broader ca ca categories to keep the number of themes down to perhaps 6, 8, maybe 10, 12. Uh, but more than about 12 probably becomes a little bit difficult to handle. Once you have those themes, you can insert um, new variables into your data file and then insert corresponding numeric codes for each uh, comment made by participants. It may be that you'd like to compare your accu accuracy of creating ratings by um, getting another rater to also rate your data and then working out the um, correlation or the inter-rater reliability. So I'm now going to briefly demonstrate uh, multiple response analysis. Here's my open-ended data. I'm going to insert two new variables because most satisfied has uh, two possible responses. And I'll call this sat most one C for coded and sat most to C. Then what we do is go to analyze uh, multiple response defined variable sets. Put in the two repeated measures and create a category. Now we need to know what our category range is going to be. I've already decided that it will be 1 to 5. Sat most um, is the name that I will give the set and close. Now what remains is for me to do my coding into here and then do the re multiple response analysis.